going to show how to make this cube, which is a very flexible kind of a thing made of that flexible strut, and this, which is a very cool and um, round section torus, can rotate. I find that amazing. Anyway, it's great. Now, it's all done with triangles. Basically, except for the possibly the, the corners of the square. Which is just a little bit putting odd ones on. Now, you make triangles. I assume you probably know how to make triangles, but if you don't, you just pinch the ring. You can make a whole lot of rings, put them on the table, and just go along doing that. Now, the first one is the tricky one. You, you bend all the corners down to meet each other at the bottom. So these are the middle ones, and all the corner ones are down here. Alright, now the problem is that all the sides look identical. So it's very hard to know where you're at. You've basically got an oct octahedron there. So you have to remember which ones are which. It's very important to remember which ones are which. And you take either the bottom ones or the, the top ones, but not the ones from the side. So I'll do it again, just so that's abundantly clear. You fold the ones down, three down, you t the ones you can still see, you build on those. And there's an, another one at the bottom, so I'm going to keep them there. It's very easy to get mixed up. So don't even let go of it. Now you fold another triangle into the point, into the gaps of, of that little triangle. Okay. Hard to see still. Alright, so that was our triangle. And those balls have gone into the gaps of the bottom triangle. Now, do that a couple of times without losing track of your triangles. And after a little while, you find it just nicely pops up. Maybe that one doesn't quite nicely pop down, but you squeeze it around a bit. And that's good. After that, it's easy to remember which ones are which. So put the last couple on and you begin to see that what you're making, they start popping out by themselves nicely. Let's see, I'm trying to make it focus on my fingers. Put it there, put it into that one, into the other one, and then sort of wiggle it a little bit. Keep doing that forever. And you end up with a long and flexible snake. Like, it can be bent around to make something like that. And you've got to be careful not to mix them up. And if you start, if it starts getting too wonky, it changes the orientation of the, the magnets. Well, it still looks the same, but the magnets are twisted around, and it won't do the stretchy thing, and it won't be strong. When you bend it, there'll be one point that's different to the other points. Here's, a, here's the one I made earlier. Oh, I have to put it in that end. Now the tubes have an um, the clockwise. So on this end, clockwise is that way, and on this end, clockwise is the other way. So they have a direction. And when you start assembling a, a square or the cube. Um, you've got to get that direction right. So you can say, if you nominate one direction as clockwise, those ones would all be clockwise going together. These ones would all be anti-clockwise. Those ones all clockwise. Those ones all anti-clockwise. And that will work all the way around. And it works all the way around because each ring of them has four units in. So you couldn't use this technique to make pyramids or anything with with triangles. It just wouldn't work. All right. So now we've got we've got that. I'll show you how to make the corner. I've, I've made two other ones already. I'm going to make one corner. 
back with a bit of hole. Now the corner, you basically build up until just one by one. You can build it up one by one, it's not as much fun. Until you've got it like that. Alright, so that looks a bit like a six loop. And then right in the bottom in that gap you put one more. Okay. I'll do the same thing again here. Um, you've got to get your pointy one, so the, um, let's see, that's, that's going to be the high point. One there. I can barely see this. I'm not sure if everyone else can see. Don't put that on there and I shouldn't. So that's the high one. No, that's wrong. So that should be the high one. I'll take them just one off there. Alright, so now we've got the high ones and the same one. That's a high one and that's a high one. They're in the same line, so that's good. And then in the low spot, I just add one more ball there. So I'll add in the low spot here, I'll just add one more ball. Right, and now, I'll get one of the other ones, and I make sure I've got the right polarity. See how they join there? In cubic, lined up sort of fashion, so that's right. That's a nice strong join already. Um, there's another one. Now, let's put that down on the table. Aim that low. So we make sure we've got the right... Now, let's see, that's the wrong join. It's going in... The point goes in between two magnets. We want the one going the same way. Oh, man. It's very hard for me to see this. Right. And there's your... There's your... Um, your corner. Now notice it's not quite square, but it doesn't matter because of their bendy struts. So you just push them a bit and they go around. And as long as you, whatever shape you make has got an even number of, of struts, you could make them out of this and it would be quite strong. Um, except of course that they're flexible and it would bend. So you would have to make it, if you want to make anything big, you'd have to make it short. Now to make something that bends around like this, and look at this, this is my understanding the way that bends around. And it's perfectly spherical. Perfectly perfect torus. And there's a nice example. If it does bend, come apart like that, it just goes back together. You can stretch it. Right, a bit of that, I, did, I stretched that too hard then. But you can stretch it. See what happened? It, it pulls out. If that happens, if it happens just a little bit, you can, um, you can just push in like that. It does happen a bit, because you tend to want to Stretch it to its limit and just separate them. I think you can't, um, unlike the four loop, you can't keep doing this. I think what happens is that the magnets twist around a bit and they're no longer oriented quite the right way. So, in other words, it will be more like once it breaks somewhere, it will be more likely to break it in the same place. I'm not 100% certain about that, but it sort of looks strong now. So, in theory, I could bend this around again. Mm -hmm. and join it back together. So let's try it. Right, I've just opened up the lap. I mean, that does it. Just, well, I've got it open. That's the um, end of it. To be pretty careful, you don't want any part to be too strained. But it goes around alright. I need to do that again. But the section of it, if you cut through it, that's perfectly circular. There's no triangles or anything. Any of that nonsense? There you have it. 